Last week I was asked a um, question by James on my Facebook page. He said, Russ, how can I hit my upper chest effectively in the gym? Don't seem to be getting any results, just doing incline bench press. Is there anything else that I can do? Um, yeah, there is. Today I'm going to show you a workout, a full chest routine with a specific focus on getting results in your upper pecs. Okay, it's a region which a lot of guys have issues with. I know with me, you know, when I first started the train, the first year or two, um, I was guilty of doing what most guys do, too much flat bench press, and I was really leaving my incline work as a afterthought. Um, wasn't doing enough, and it's something which I really had to catch up on now over the last few years. You know, it's, it's one area where a lot of guys have difficulty with. Um, so today I'm going to show you a routine which which I used, which I've used with a lot of the, the clients uh, that, that I would train on my website. When you look at the actually the, you know the fitness models, the, the male models on my website, this is an area where they continually mention it because it's it's a career where you kind of need to develop that area. You know, you've got a good upper chest, it's going to set off any photograph of somebody, uh, particularly if they're topless. So this is something which continually pops up, and I hope today's video helps you. Feel free to apply the full workout to your routine, or just take a few techniques, maybe some exercises that you've not done before, James. Um, I hope it helps you, buddy. Let's get going. Alright guys, first move, incline, barbell, bench press. Most people do flat bench first. Um, if you want to focus more on your upper chest though, it's good to start with your biggest move which is going to target that area so you're fresh, you're ready to go. So, got the set in an incline. Uh, we're going to do four sets of eight reps on this one, okay? One tip when we start, a lot of guys bring the bar down a bit too high. You know, bringing it down sort of level with the neck. Aim it at the area you're trying to hit. Aim it at your chest, okay, when you come down. Um, and also, Grip the bar, it'll help you lift more. You'll see what I mean when I get going here, okay? So, just unwrap this. So we're coming down to our chest. Let it touch, touch your chest on the way down, and then explode up. Concentrate on gripping the bar as hard as you can, and you'll notice that it actually helps you to pack more weight on as well, as well as improving your grip. Next exercise, what we normally do is just flatten out the bench, do flat dumbbell bench press. Uh, given that we want to focus on our upper chest a little bit more, what I've done here, you can probably see from this angle, um, the bench is flat, but I've actually raised it to the bottom incline, so it's slightly raised. It's not, not the sort of incline we were working on with the barbell and the rack over there, okay? So, that slight incline is just going to bring our upper pecs into the movement a little bit more, help us to target them a little bit more, while still getting all the benefits of a regular flat bench press. Okay, so we're going to do four sets, 8 to 10 reps a game, same principles, about 60 seconds rest in between each set, go as heavy as you can. Let's get started. when I'm doing that guys, my feet are planted firmly on the floor. None of this shit that you see guys doing where you got their feet sticking up in the air while they're on the bench. Decide what you want to hit, your chest, or do you want to turn it into more of a core exercise which is going to impact how heavy you can go. If you want it to really target an area and blast it and create new growth, then we want to be going as heavy as we, as we physically can. So ditch all that nonsense, keep your feet on the floor and really drive through as you push up. Okay, next move, come on. Alright guys, we're now going to do one of my favourite moves in the gym. Um, 
dumbbell fly. Again, I've kept the slight incline on this, okay, uh, which is going to help us to bring our upper pecs into the move a little bit more than normal. And we're going to do three sets, 10 to 12 reps. Now, with the isolation moves, we're going to shorten the rest periods, okay, just to ramp up the intensity, get a bit more from the session, as well as some fat burning effects. Um, so we're going to only go for 30 seconds rest in between these sets, so they're quick fire, but get the most out of each rep. I'll show you how with a couple of techniques that I use, okay? Think of it as hugging a tree when you're doing a dumbbell fly. Keep your arms nice and wide, all the way down. And you're coming up. Now you might be thinking, why did I stop there? Why did I stop when I got to here? Well, first of all, there's no gravity between there and there. You see a lot of guys coming all the way in and banging the dumbbells together and then going out. And that momentum between here and here kind of cheats you a little bit. So when you get to here, there's nothing more to be gained from that exercise. So just stop there and just bring it down and go straight into your next rep, okay? And second of all, a lot of guys use too much arm strength to get through this, they sort of power through it. That's why they often say, you see guys on the pet deck machine saying that their shoulders hurt, it's because they're going Ugh! instead of using their chest. So what I want you to do before you do a dumbbell fly, sit on the bench or stand up, put your arms out and just tense the middle of your chest and watch what happens. Keep your arms dead. You see that? That's what happens when you tense your chest. Your arms come in anyway, it's the body's normal, you know, it's what the muscle does when you tense up, so use that, channel that, get that mind-muscle connection. Use that when you're lifting the weights, and bring it in as much as you can. You will still have to get your arms and shoulders involved a little bit, because they're secondary muscles, uh, to a certain degree on this exercise, but focus on that tension, rather than anything else, and that's where the results are waiting to be had. It's just that most guys are doing those two things that I've just told you, that's where they're going wrong with it, okay? So, let's jump in and do our reps. 10 to 12. favorite exercise for the upper chest region. Um, you'll often see people doing what we're about to do, low pulley cable flies, but I'm going to show you a different variation of it which will allow you to get even more results from this. Okay, It's a favorite of my clients and I hope you enjoy it today. Seriously, if you're not doing this exercise at all in your chest routine um, and you're worried about your upper pecs, start implementing this in your routine right now and like I say, you'll love the returns it gives you. Okay. Usually you see this on this exercise. We'll bring it up like this, just like a dumbbell fly standing up from a low pulley. And that's great, focusing on tensing the chest. There's one problem though, with dumbbells, I was just explaining to you guys there about the tension leaving you when you reach shoulder level. With cables you don't have that issue, so stopping here, you can only get there, that presents a bit of a barrier. You could get more from this exercise if you want my clients to and ditch one side, work one side at a time. Now watch, I can get past here and I can copy here. And the difference between a rep that comes to there and a rep that comes to there when there's constant tension, well, you'll see when you try it, it's huge. So I can get all the way up. Two things I want you to do during this one, during our three sets. First of all, concentrate on tensing your chest, okay? Because we want you to bring it up, but we don't want you to rotate your torso. This is not to work your obliques, this is to work your chest. So I'm bringing it up quite far, but I'm staying still. I'm not turning, okay? You've got to get that right, otherwise you're going to lose some of the benefits. You're going to just use your body weight to swing it. Um, and also, build the mind-muscle connection. Again, put, a good technique is to put your hand here. You've got a spare hand, so use it. Put it right here, and tense as you lift, and you'll feel it tensing where you're supposed to feel it. So we're going to do three sets, 10 to 15 reps. Obviously, this is kind of like six sets, because we've got to then work the other side as well. Work them in tandem. You won't really need any rest if you do that. Just go from left to right to left to right. Uh, I'm getting that the other way around, and I left to right. <laughs> it's been a long day. Let's go.
exercise for the day. Uh, I always like to finish my workouts on a, a brutal note with either a bodyweight circuit or maybe even just a single bodyweight exercise where we're just going to failure in the gym and draining every last bit of strength that we've got in the muscle that we've been trying to blast for the day, which in this case is chest, more specifically upper pecs. So we're going to use a technique which I call 10 for 10, which I'll explain in a sec. Um, this consists of two exercises, dips, and then we're going to drop down, feet on the step here, I'm going to do incline push-ups, so we're just going to blast our chest until we haven't got anything left. 10 for 10 means we're going 10 reps dips, 10 reps push-ups, but you might not actually get 10 reps as you start failing, because we're not going to have any rest at all. As soon as you finish doing your dips, we're going to go into push-ups. As soon as you finish your push-ups, no matter how many you get out, if you get the full 10, great. If you get 7, 8, that's fine. As soon as you fail, you get back up and you go back into dips, and we're going to do that for 5 sets. Okay, so. It's very rare that I meet people who can do 10 reps on each the whole way through the five sets. So if you fail after two sets or three sets or whatever, don't worry about it. It's different from person to person. The idea behind this is just to give you, to make you leave the gym thinking, holy shit. You know, it's always good to leave the gym a little bit afraid. You're thinking, shit, I don't want to come back here. So let's get started with our dips. Remember to lean, lean a little bit into these because we want to hit our chest, not, not so much our triceps like this. Will be more triceps. Lean a bit further into it. Okay, drop down straight away. Alright guys, <laughs> I hope you had fun with today's workout. Like I say, this routine works man, just apply this to your training. For about four weeks you'll see results from this or just take some techniques and apply it. Maybe the things you weren't doing such as the, uh, the single arm technique we used on the low cable flies. At the end of the day this is a favourite among my clients for a reason. It will give you the, the results in the area you're trying to, trying to build so enjoy it. This has been great. <laughs> I'm about to go home now. I've had loads of fun with this video for you guys. So share it with anyone that's going to help them in the gym. Uh, right now, I'm going to go put this up on the website and get home to my kids. I'll see you guys. Thanks a lot. Bye bye. That was awesome. <laughs>